All right, so look, we're just refining a few things about our, our right hand techniques here. If you just go five on the thumb and claw on four, three, two. And then what we really want to do is go from, move away from this kind of scenario, which is very awkward, back into this type of vibe, where the wrist is cocking up a little bit. This is the thing we're looking for, right? So as I'm, the thumb is ahead, and the fingers just naturally flick back towards the palm. Yeah? So as I'm going... By moving the wrist up towards my face a little bit, up towards my cheek a little bit, then I allow room for this hand, to, for those fingers to flick back in. And there's something strange that happens when the thumb is ahead and the fingers are just tucked back in, they find their strings a lot more easily. I don't know what the coordination is there, but something about that really is a lot easier. Okay, so we've got that. Five, five, four, five, four, five, four. Is that still working? Yeah. Six, four, right? And then for Blackbird, just to recap, six, two. 5 2, 5 2, with this shape on the 2nd fret and 3rd fret, 1st fret and 3rd fret, and then up here together, out, in, thumb, in, out, little fingernail must be cut, together, out, in, thumb, in, out, I think that was it, right? Okay.